Hi everyone, I'm Tara and this is my 2007 BMW 335i hardtop convertible. Today I'll be replacing my valve cover gasket. I kept smelling a burning smell coming from the air vents so I took it to BMW and they said it was the leaking valve cover gasket that was causing me to drip oil onto the exhaust creating the burning smell. So they wanted $1,500 to repair it and I said no thanks and took the car back and now I have to figure out how to do it myself. So I do have a friend on standby who's done this before and I'm dreading it. It's going to take me hours but I'm going to give it a try. So I don't have my own garage or driveway so I'm outside of my friend's shop and I'm going to film here. So the first thing I have to do is let my car cool down, disconnect the battery and then remove the engine covers. So I've already done that on video before in my video called how to replace spark plugs. So please refer to that first and then come back to this one. The engine covers are off and now I have to remove the strut bar by turning the slot on the cover to access the bolt. Use a big flathead or something like a quarter. Use an external Torx 14 for this one and an 18 for the other one to remove the strut bar. The one at the center just loosens so that the bar can be pulled out. Remove the six coils. Remove the two E10 screws that look like blue stars. The other one is further back. Remove the grounds using an 8mm socket. Using a small flathead, unclip the connectors for the injectors. Pull off the positive terminal cover and unscrew the 13mm nut. Next you have to pull these locking clips out to unplug the connectors. Unhook all the clips and connectors attached to the harness and disconnect the sensors. Using a 14mm wrench, disconnect the fuel lines. Unscrew the fuel rail bolts. Lift out the whole fuel rail. Unclip the two vacuum hose connectors in the back using a flathead. Unplug the two vacuum lines very gently. Using an 11mm socket, loosen all 19 bolts which stay attached to the cover. I used a pry bar to carefully lift up the valve cover. I had my friend help me remove the cover because I didn't want to crack it as I didn't buy a new one which is recommended. I pulled out the old gasket which was really hard and broke off in little pieces. I used brake cleaner on a paper towel to clean the surface where the old gasket was. It must be totally clean so that the new one seals tightly. Push the new gasket into the grooves in the cover. I bought my gasket from ECS Tuning. I'll put the link below. Now place the cover back on along with everything else. Okay, I'm finally done. I've been here all day, but I don't know how long it took me because my camcorder battery kept dying. It was maybe five hours or so. I'm exhausted. My legs are killing me. I'm starving. It was so hard, but I still don't regret it because I saved a lot of money. But I couldn't have done it without my friend Jackpot. And thank you to the Dip Doctor for letting me work on my car in front of his shop. If you need car parts, buy them from ECS Tuning. That's where I buy mine. And if you click on the link in the video description below and buy them from that link, you'll be supporting my channel and I would appreciate it very much. Thanks for watching.